Some people struggle to find the line between chivalry and sexism. So today I'll be educating you on which is which. First of all, what is chivalry? Chivalry is the knight's code that has existed since before the medieval age, usually of religious, moral, and most importantly, honor-related rule. The word chivalry comes from the word cheval, which is French for horse. Whilst knighthood had different rules depending on where you came from, we can extrapolate the main points of it, which are about putting others before you, uh, being kind and mindful, and being willing to die for the people you are protecting. As Kendrick would say, it's about being humble. However, chivalry is not meant to be facetious. Don't be over the top about it. Being humble means understanding it's not all about you, and that most people are capable of doing most things themselves that you are also able to do. Misogyny and misandry are both still widespread, because especially the internet and Hollywood have created a very sexually tense and aggressive environment. But we do not live in the 50s anymore. Women don't belong in the kitchen, but I do. Please let me cook. And women have rights now, so there's no need for feminism really in modern Western civilization. In the early 20th century, a concept was given into view called egalitarianism, which meant equal opportunity and equal initial respect keyword being initial there, for all groups. Um, in a way, even separating people into groups would be against the doctrine of someone who's very egalitarian, but it's pretty much impossible not to do it because even people, they themselves, put themselves into groups. So how do you, without sexism, apply chivalry in an egalitarian way? Well, ask yourself this. Does the action you're doing for another person change because of their gender or potential love interest status? Are you a sad little simp, or perhaps a big pimp? If you open a door for a woman, but won't do it for a man, you're not chivalrous, you're sexist. If you open a door for a man, but not for a woman, you're also not being chivalrous, you're also being sexist. If you open the door for both, it must be a very big door. Also, if someone does this, and you feel like you want to do it yourself, just tell them politely. And if someone tells you that, then you have to accept it and don't take it as an offense. You have to negotiate acceptable terms of communication and behavior through polite and calm conversation. And don't be offended by everything. So this was me, Lord Salvatore, explaining to you the difference between chivalry and sexism.